Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can troubleshoot a laptop that won't come on when you press the power button. This video is the second in the series of videos I'll be making about this particular problem. It's quite common and could come in many different forms. Maybe nothing happens entirely when you press the power button or you get some indication of partial startup. Maybe some LEDs blink or you hear the cooling fan spinning but nothing on the screen or it tries to boot up but shuts down instantly or some other signs without booting into Windows. Now needless to say that there are several possible reasons why you may be having this problem. So what I do in this series is to record my troubleshooting of such cases and share the successful ones or at least those I feel can help you resolve your problems. So you will find links to previous and future videos in this series down in the video description. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so today I have this HP 255G6, a fairly recent model. It's an AMD board with DDR4 memory. And what happens is when I press the power button, I get some signs of starting up. However, nothing comes up on the screen. No backlight, no texts or any welcome screen, nothing. The first sign I noticed was the blinking of the caps lock LED. Now this laptop model has no cooling fan and it uses M.2 SSD, so no spinning sounds from anywhere. The only sound I heard after pressing the power button was a short glitch from the optical drive compartment, which is typical of laptops with optical drives. And afterwards, it was total silence, leaving only the caps lock LED blinking. Now in the initial video I posted on this series, I explained a bit about how the BIOS coordinates the startup function of your laptop. The BIOS is short for Basic Input Output System, which is basically some kind of flash memory chip that comes embedded on your motherboard. It coordinates hardware initialization during startup and also provides other runtime services for your operating system and programs. Now at this point of startup, the operating system hasn't kicked in yet, it's still at the BIOS stage and as it stands, the BIOS is still not able to communicate with the display in order to put out the state of the startup or what could be wrong with your computer or any other information. So it resorts to some other means or clues if you want. Now two of the common means used in this scenario are beeps and LED blinking which depends on the make and model of your laptop. In the initial video, the laptop gave some beeps to indicate the state of the startup or what could be preventing the startup. This is a strong indicator. I've been expecting this, but I'm surprised it's coming this time. And this beep is coming from your BIOS. But in this case, we have the caps lock LED blinking. And when you observe closely, the blinks come in regular repeated sequence. As you can see, it gives off three long blinks and then two short blinks and that is the status code for this situation. Most manufacturers have their blinking LED and beep error codes on their support page. You could also find these codes from some other third-party support forums. So do some Google search and see what the beep or LED blinking could mean in your case. So I found this from HP support page and down here is the blinking pattern that corresponds to my case. It says 3.2 blink, which is three long followed by two quick blinks. And here it explains clearly that the embedded controller timed out waiting for BIOS to return from memory initialization. And then it suggests resetting the memory and if the problem persists, then try replacing the memory module. Now before resetting your memory, first remove all power sources from your laptop, both battery and AC source. Then press and hold down the power button for some 30 to 40 seconds and release it. This discharges the motherboard of any residual voltage and clears your memory of any triggers that might be preventing your laptop from booting up. Now return the battery and try to power it on again. As you can see, in this case that didn't resolve the problem. So I'll be going ahead with the suggestion of resetting the memory. Now most laptops will have the RAM in a more accessible location. This laptop requires a bit more effort to reach the RAM. But in any case, try to access your RAM modules. Now remove the RAM and clean the connector using isopropyl alcohol. You can use a simple dry cotton, it doesn't really matter. The idea is to ensure nothing is blocking contact between your RAM and the sockets. Now attach it back firmly and try to boot it up again. Unfortunately, that still didn't help, so I'll be going ahead with replacing the RAM entirely to see if that will resolve the issue.
and right after that, the laptop came back to life. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there are several other possible reasons why you may be experiencing this problem. So if one fix doesn't work for you, try some other fix and see if it helps. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.